Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind with me, Golden Self. I've, as you can see, I've changed my um, my resolution to be lower, which means two things. One, text is going to be easier to read, but two, everything's going to be kind of bigger and clunkier. Like all of this is a lot, like I have a lot less screen real estate to play with, basically. But you know, it seems to be fine. I've had a lot of extra before as well, and it's nice to be able to see things, you know. Like, I can actually see the model, and, and I can click on the dagger, you know, like, um, so that is cool. In fact, yeah, why not make this huge? Um, but yeah, this is all going on, and it's all bigger, so that's nice. I can actually read stuff now, and, and, uh, even with my bad, oops, something just happened. Even with my bad eyesight, uh, I can manage. So, let's get some water walking, and head down. Head out east. Seems like there's some kind of uh, Daedric shrine up there. You know, let's let's might as well just check it out. I wanted a little a little more out of that. All right. So we're gonna just water walk over there. And since there's nothing between here and there, clearly I'll just meet you there. All right. So we're here at Ball Fell. I'm gonna heal up. Oh, I'm gonna try to heal up. And then I don't know what to expect here. I'm I'm assuming bad guys. Oh, but yeah, this is a named shrine with an actual location on the map, which means it's pretty scary. So, but we kind of have to pass through it. It's on the way. It's on the way to uh, to tell Branera. So, let's let's do this. Hopefully, we'll be fine. We can at least check it out, see if it's not too dangerous. There's mud crab. Oh no. Sure, crab meat for me. Oh, there's a dude over there. Is he gonna attack me? Still quick save. Abar the Wild. Seems he won't. He seems he's not hostile. Background. I am Abar the Wild, barbarian and hireling of the Great House Talvani. Oh, we're we're in this together. This is our. This is our da uh, Daedric Shrine, apparently. I see. Cool. How about you, Edril Vulis? I mean, none of them want to talk to me. They're probably part of some quest. Moon and Star. Uh, was given to Nerevar by Kagranok Swift Smiths, blessed by the Daedric Lord Azra. All right, I know. I know. We know that already. Hmm. But yeah, this area that we're in is actually called, uh, I think this is Azura's Coast. Or Azura's Coast. Some people say Azura. I don't know what's accurate. Does it really matter? Here's Hirnir. None of them have anything to say to me, do they? About Dumak? He was a king among the Dwemer and a friend of the hero Nerevar before the war began. Yeah, we've heard that story. Okay, so, the sun's going down. Looks lovely, with the light beams and everything. God rays, I mean. Outlander. Whatever they're called. What's your story? What's your story? No, hey. What about, what's up there? What's the story up, up top? Ah. Uh, here we go. Taking a nice leisurely stroll upward, it seems. Oh yeah, my speed is harmed. You know what, I might go take care of that off camera. Um. In a little bit. Is there anything, any reason to go up here? We can go with the other level to eight now. I think we could probably make it to that mushroom in 10 seconds. Or not. There we go. So there's nothing like. Oh, is there something over there? Oh, it's just another netch. I'm running low on magical already. So there's this is the exterior of this shrine called Ball Fell. There's a bunch of stairs. Is there a door thing over here? Anything up here? It's cool that this is all up here, but unfortunately there's no loot or anything. There's no indication of what those ghost people are doing down there either. That I can see. 
Here's the, here's the stairs I saw. So, okay. Whole lot of nothing. Stone flower. Now those really look like the death bell. But no, they don't actually. They don't really. Am I in a fight? No, it's just the main theme. Those drums sometimes make me think I'm in a fight. Okay. There's gonna be an entrance to this place somewhere, but look, it's so big that it actually has two cells of, uh, of space. There's gonna be an entrance to the actual shrine here somewhere. Is it closer to go inside, I wonder? Where is it? May the yeah. wind be on your back. Thank you. They're both so respectful. Anyway, let's move on. I don't think there's anything we can do here right now. I think we're supposed to know what, what's going on there before we get there. Alright, so... Because generally speaking, that seems to be the case in this game more than in Skyrim. Like in Skyrim, if you stumble upon something that's part of a quest, the quest will pop up. Like You'll know that it's part of a quest, but in this game, not so much. I don't know if it's passive, but no, I guess not. It's dead now. It has a disease. Get away. There's a town up there somewhere called uh, Molag Mar. Um, I'm pointing with myself on the map. Uh, you can obviously, I have to tell you that for you to notice. Um, and it has a guy who sells spells that, that restore speed and stuff, so I was thinking of heading up there. So maybe I'll make a pit stop over there and meet you there. Uh, how about that? Uh, okay, I was walking around. And walking up here, walking north. And I came to this... I've come upon this Dwemer Ruin, so I've got to at least investigate it. To find out what it's called. Let's see. It's called Dead Cliff Razor. It's a terrible name for Dwemer Ruin. I don't know what they were thinking. But weirdly apt for the moment. Okay. It's got one of these giant, uh, what are these things called again? I don't remember. My, how unimpressive of my military technological history knowledge. What are those things called again? Uh, ballista. Yeah, Ballista. I don't know. It's been a long time since I played Age of Empires 2. It's apparently the Mizan, the Mizach, Mizan, Mizanak ruin. And I'm not going down there. This is not going to be Arkham Thand. There's going to be Dwemer Steam Centurions down there and all kinds of bad stuff. Oh. <coughs> Ow. Didn't realize I still had my bow. You're still alive. It's because I didn't pull back the string all the way. I was a little, a little hasty. All right. Next stop, Moagmar, I hope, if I can find it. It's somewhere up here. I think. Or is it over there? You know, maybe I should check a map. Maybe I should just hug the coast until I find it. I know it's like along, the, along this somewhere. So we'll just go this way rather than go straight across. That's fine with me. Oh yeah, water walking is uh, over here now. Let's see what we got. Hopefully not too dangerous. That's some mud crabs or something? Oh, a mud crab and a log. We'll just kill the mud crab. Takes care of that problem. I don't even want the crab meat. Screw it. There's another one. Easily done. Well, as you can see, it's not very eventful. Especially with my low speed. So I'm going to just hurry it along a bit. And uh, see you next time something interesting is going on. As much as it is cool walking around here in the morning, I, I advanced time a bit. It's now like 6 a.m. It's cool. It's very nice and all, but, you know, watch time, people. Watch time. Man, it's not even fair with the Daedric bow. All right. See you soon. All right. So I decided to do a time lapse here of the travel to Molag Mar and let me know what you think of this and idea in the comments. Um, it was just a 
not going to be very much longer actually after I finish talking, but uh, it was just an idea and I'd like to do more videos in the future where I do some narration after the fact. So let me know if you think this worked and whether you'd like to see more stuff like this for long distance travel in the future rather than just me cutting directly there. So, and it's almost over. And there it is, I think that's it right there. That's Molag Mar, that Vivek Canton looking thing. There's another shrine over there, Daedric Shrine, and I don't know what else, but we're in the Molag. It even says that we're in Molag Mar now, according to the map. See? So we're just gonna walk over to it. Apparently I've managed to get on top of this this ridge, which is there there by pass you know, bypassing a bunch of the oh here, check it out. There's a silt strider. Okay, well good, we're here. So we're we're all set. Now we're not gonna do a full detailed investigation of Moag Mar or anything. It's not even it's not connected to my factions or anything. Well it is connected to the temple, apparently. It's a it's a co temple Redoran place, as we're gonna find out. But I wanna just go buy some spells at the temple. Because why not? It's gonna be some good stuff. It's a bit like planning a road trip, you know, like... It reminds me a lot of that feeling... Of like, you know, you gotta plan all your different stops. Alright, here we are. Here's the waste works, just like in Vivek. But up in the plaza area... This is cool. It's different. It's like... Here's St. Vela's Hostel. It's got like this whole, which must be like the, the bar of the town, I guess, I'd have to guess. And there's, what's going on over here? Sibar Bale. Zabar Bale. Pleased to meet you, Golden Self. I believe you mean, I believe you mean pleased to meet you, Golden Self. I'm Zabar Bale. This is Moag Mar. This outpost is maintained by the temple for pilgrims and temple warriors. Uh, apart from the Ordinators and Boyan Armagers here, everyone is either a Pilgrim or a Tradesman or Craftsman servicing the Pilgrims. Okay, there's Molag Mar. Um, he's a merchant. What can you tell me about Molag Mar? Tell me more about Molag Mar. Molag Mar Stronghold is a combination frontier garrison and pilgrimage hostel jointly staffed or staffed? Staffed or staffed? And maintained by the Tribunal Temple. Staffed. Staffed, yeah. Uh, and House Redoran. Both the Temple and House Redoran have garrisons of elite volunteers here to defend the stronghold. Pilgrims use the stronghold as a base from which they can attempt the difficult and dangerous pilgrimages to the Mount Khand and Mount Asar Nibibi sites to the north in Moag Amur wastelands. That's right, right? Asar Nibibi? Yeah. So, Pilgrims, Gar. Okay, alright. Um, anything you can tell me about that stuff? No. Anyway, we're not doing Molagmore. Molagmar. And what do you do? You're... Stream Merc. I think these are all slaves. You sell slaves? Merchant. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. What do you have, what do you have to say? What do you have to sale, buddy? Block level 100. Damn. Alright. We're well, not here for that. We're not here to buy slaves, although there's probably a mod that lets you do that. We're here because somewhere in here there's a dude or a lady or somebody who can sell me some spells. Training? You got training. Oh, you don't do it for my rank? Okay, gotcha. Speak your needs. You? Saras Orelu? Yeah, you got some spells. Here we go. Okay, sweet. So there's restore speed right there. Uh, let's just get all these. Awesome. Um, righteousness, absorb health 10 points for one second on touch. Uh... Is Absorb Health a good or a bad thing? I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's really cheap. I don't think I want to buy that one. Stamina. Restore Fatigue, 10 to 30 points for 30 seconds. It seems kind of silly to cast a spell to restore Fatigue, unless you have really, really, really good restoration. But I'll get it anyway. And it's good to have the effect. I probably have it already. Restore Health, 6 to 15 points for 1 second on touch. Um... 
I guess we can do that. It's not enough health to really matter. I would never do that. Blood gifts. Fortify health. 10 to 40 points for 30 seconds on health. Yes. Protects mercy. If we resist blight disease, 20% for 10 seconds. That's not really a concern because I can heal the blight disease. Uh, cure poison for one second on touch. I guess I might want to do that on a, on a somebody who's following me. Um, uh, cure common disease and cure blight disease. We already have panacea. Uh, so I don't know why we would need it again. Okay. So that's what we wanted, really. We Now, instead of just getting blessed by the temple, we can do the restore speed right here. What do you want? And... Man. It didn't do it completely, huh? And then I failed. Wow. Oh, no, no, it did do it. It did do it. We have speed 50. Anything else we gotta restore? No, everything else is fine. Okay, so... I don't know what the deal is with the sneak and the block thing. I still haven't looked that up or figured out what, what, what's up with that. But, uh, yeah, we can't make this any narrower, which kind of bugs me. Anyway, let's move on. That was our stop in Molagmar. Let's get back to on the road. This way. Who are you? You don't have anything to say. Not right now. Alright, let's get down there. I'll uh, do another little... S I'll meet you guys wherever we're gonna be next. See you there. There's actually a, a merchant. Uh, a tra... A tra uh, what are they called? A boat guy here who can take us to... Um, to Tel Branera. But, you know, no. We're gonna go by foot. We're gonna go, like, directly there from here, I think. Straight south. Not too far. Let's get on the road. See you in a little bit. Alright. Okay, well, it seems like we found some kind of a settlement or something here. Let's see what we got. This is the Radas Ancestral Tomb. And this is what? Are you guys bandits or something? It's weird that the cliff racers don't only attack the player. Seem to be friendly. Yanni Sehavani. You're an archer. Okay, well, as long as you guys aren't, uh... Aren't upset with me. I'm surprised. That they're not attacking me. I thought that they must be my enemies, but I guess not. Here's Adi Bell's hut. And your name is Ibanamu Asutlanad. Oh, these are Ashlanders. No, you're not an Ashlander. Maybe some of them are. Welcome to the hut. You must be the wise woman. Hani Haina Bibi. Adi Bayo Haina Bibi. Um, Ashlanders? I, I don't know. Chigarad. It's a largely hostile and uninhabited with two small villages at Ald Raidina and Dagonfell. Oh, we have to go to Dagonfell for something. But we're not in the Chigarad region. That's in the north. Alright, it's been a while since we used the bound dagger on anything. There we go. That was a nice kind of close combat situation where we needed it. Alright, let's keep moving down. Here's another thing. Another Daedric Shrine. There seems to be a lot in this region. I like how these plants almost seem to move, move apart as we move through them. It's cool. Oh, battle? Battle time. Something is hitting me. Ow. Die. Okay. We survived. Again, using mostly the bow. Really need to get some destruction. I've, con I've contracted ataxia. Well, that's just fine because I have cure common disease as a spell around here somewhere. 
Oh, what's it called? Um. Oh, I gotta find it. Cure myself. All right, silly me. It was just called Cure Common Disease. So anyway, there's a. Uh, hopefully not a fight up here. That that guy doesn't look friendly. I think he wants to kill me. Oh, we downed him. Down, boy. Clan fear. Okay, we managed to take out the clan fear before it could hurt us. Oh, here comes the scamp. And, uh, what are you again? Scamp. And a Nyx Hound. That's what they're called. Nyx Hound. Where are you? Where's your... Where's your name? Come on, I want to loot you. Arrgh. Buggy. You don't seem to want to kill me. Dring hide. It's just another barbarian hanging out at Daedric Shrine. It's just what people do. Let's see what we got over here. This is Zion. This apparently this shrine is called Zion Tire Race. Okay. I'm not going in there. I'm just going to get killed by a bunch of people. Probably. I guess. Alright, let's go in there. Let's do a quick save. Then we'll go in there. Also, my timer has gone off. Uh oh. Okay, here comes a guy. Oh god. You're growing weak. No, I want the bow, fool. Oh god. Yeah, he's strong. <gasps> Dead. But I could probably beat him. But it's gonna have to wait for the next episode. I'm Golden Self. Thanks for watching. Hopefully next time we'll be able to loot this Daedric Shrine for, for glory. Um, without getting killed by, a, by a, a Dremora. I was thinking maybe I could steal from it and then run. Uh, isn't that what I did last time? Oh, sweet, I'm floating. There we go. That's sane. That's more like it. Okay, well, join me next time. I'm Golden Self. Thanks again for watching. And let's let's just start from within the woods and from within the wall. Okay, and if you like the video, please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. See you again next time. Bye-bye.